How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be making four simple cats sitting on a fence. And it should be fun. Let's get going. This will be a very simple project. You just need the basic supplies such as pencil and paper. Uh, however, if you don't want markers to trace and uh, some coloring supplies, that's cool as we, we do. Now, uh, I did find this online and it's a really cool photo. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Um, it's a picture of really four distinct uh, different types of cats with different patterns on them. And they're sitting on top of a fence. So I found this and um, I thought, why not I try to replicate it? And I think I am I'm gonna edit a tad bit to make it look a little differently, but otherwise it looks good. So first of all, let's start off with the background and then we'll do the cats. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna get a pencil here. Now, for this first part, you don't need like a, a circle tracer or a ruler or anything like that, but if you do happen to have those things, why not use it? So I do have a ruler here, so I'm gonna draw a line uh, semi down over here, and it's gonna be the line for the fence. So I'm gonna draw it right around here. I think right here is where they placed it. Okay, there we go. And then after that line, I'm gonna draw the circle for the moon right there. Now I do have a circle of some sort here. I think this will do just fine. All right, I'm gonna put it higher than usual. And I'm gonna put it uh, right in the middle actually. Um, if you wanna put it off center like this, it might look good, but I wanna put it dead center, probably right there. All right, so I'm gonna trace this, best of my ability. All right, there we go. All right, so that's that. Ooh, it's a little higher than I would expect, but it's okay. Now, next step is I'm gonna draw the bodies of the cats. So I'm gonna go right over here and draw four uh, oval shapes, so size of an egg. So one right here. And they don't have to be perfect. They can all be different if you'd like. One right here, maybe. One right here. And another one right here. Right, these are all definitely not even, um, but you know what? It's okay because cats don't need to be the same size. All right, now I'm gonna draw the heads. I'm gonna draw circles on top of these. So circle, 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 and circle. Now we can draw the ears. So cats have pointy ears, so here I go. Draw a couple pointy ears here and there. And there we are. And last but not least, let's do some tails. And you can kind of make them any direction we want. So maybe I'll go this one this way, like this. Maybe I'll this tail go zigzag like this. It's going all the way down. Maybe I'll make this uh, tail go in the opposite way. No, never mind, I went the same way. <laughs> it's okay. And then maybe I'll make this tail curve in the opposite way right here like this. Perfect. Now once that's done, I can try to create the vertical lines for the fence. And again, since I have a ruler, I might as well use it. So here I go. There's a line right there. Okay, these don't have to be even either. I think it'll be better if I go on the other side of my ruler. Ah, there you go. Yeah, that's much easier. Okay, so now I'm just drawing the lines for the fence. Okay, this is probably a good spot. Right. It does look very um, scattered right now, but it'll make more sense once I start tracing stuff. All right, I think I'm done with that. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna trace everything. That way I can see things a little better and then I'll go back with an eraser and then uh, hopefully we can I uh, get to see the image a little better. All right, here I go. Let me just uh, see the picture here. All right, they outlined it in white. Um, I don't have a white marker or a white uh, uh, paint pen or anything, so I'm just gonna do this all in marker for right now. Now, when I'm tracing the cat, notice how I'm not doing the full circle for the head. I'm leaving space for the ears. And when I go down towards the body, I am not completing that circle or egg shape over there either. I'm connecting everything together. When I reach the bottom, you want to connect the tail with that as well. So now you can kind of see what parts you need to erase. So there's a race over here, race over here, and then race these two areas. All right, so I'm going to finish these cats off. Just like so. And notice how we don't see their feet. The reason why we don't see their feet is because they are facing uh, the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. 
right, here we go. Next cat. Okay, here is its tail. I apologize if you guys can hear uh, some footsteps. I think my son's playing upstairs. Okay, there we go. Okay, and now I'm gonna do this curved line for a tail. And then I'm going to create a body like that. Awesome! All right, well that's done. I can focus on the moon now. I'll try to copy this line as best as I can. Perfect. And only just a little tiny line right there. Great, now let me do the fence next. Lines for the fence. And then finally, the dividing lines of the fence. Again, ruler is not needed. I did ruler earlier, so I'm kind of getting uh, semi straight lines as I'm tracing them. These lines don't have to be perfect either. Snap path they kind of look better without perfect lines. Okay. So uh, I'm done tracing. Next step I'm going to do is erase a bunch of pencil marks so I can get a better look at my uh, picture here. Alright, so why don't I start off by erasing the left side of my paper and then I'll move on towards the right. Alright, it is looking a lot better now as I erase my pencil lines and I can start to see um, the correct image here. It's awesome! Alright, I think the best thing I would do if I were you guys is I would do the boring stuff first. So I'm going to take a black and I'm going to start coloring my background here. And I think I want to do this in... I don't want to... I'm not sure if I want to do this in marker. I'll do it in crayon for now and then if I change my mind later I can always change it I think. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, tiny dots with my uh, crayon here. It's not really a sharp crayon, but it's okay. And then once I make these dots, I can carefully color around them. And that should be my sky. Alright, there we go. So half of my sky is almost done. Being as careful as I can. I am going off the edge a little bit. I apologize, but it's hard to not rotate my paper and move my head so you guys can't uh, so you guys can still see the paper. Alright, there we go. Did hit the body a little bit, that's okay. As long as I don't overreach the uh, the coloring too much. Okay. Looking good so far. I'm glad I'm doing the boring stuff first. Let's go down here and finish this area. Alright, let's continue adding some circles here. So more stuff to avoid. Maybe just one more. There you go. Right, let's continue on. I am doing little tiny circles. Just think it maybe makes the picture look more interesting. There you go, I'm gonna go down. Fill in between the cats here. Then it says top corner and I think the paper underneath is making my picture look like that. There you go. Now let me do the top of this last cat's head and then complete the bottom area. Perfect! All right, I'm gonna go back with the yellow and um, I'm going to color the moon and my stars here. I think I might leave the moon white actually. Not quite sure. Should I leave everything else white? Nah, for this picture I'll color everything yellow. <laughs> See what happens. If it doesn't look good on mine, then I guess you guys know not to use yellow. So we'll see if it looks good or not. Alright, so let's finish this off. There you go, the stars are done. Let's move on to this bright moon here. Doesn't look too bad. Alright, I'm glad I colored it in. All right, let's do some more um, tedious stuff. I'm going to add uh, different varieties of brown here for my fence. So 
I found a couple that I like. Mm, maybe one more. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna use a couple browns here. I did pull out a couple, but let me just use this one in a couple random spots. Maybe like this. Great. I'm gonna pick another random brown. Here we go. That way it looks like uh, the fence is made out of uh, different types of wood. It makes it look pretty interesting. There we go, maybe one more over here on this end. And you can always press harder with a crayon to make it look like a different color too. All right, let's do some of these browns here. Ooh, that's a very interesting brown. Cool. Over here and probably the end of the page. Perfect. Uh, I think we probably fit one right here, probably. Right, let me put this one away. I only have a few more browns to go. So why don't I complete the rest of the fence here? Mm, maybe this one can go here. Let's go over here with this one. Alright, I do have three spots left. Let's do fill it in with the last brown. And then that should be good. Okay, let's do the cats next. Cats should be my favorite one. And we can take a look at what they did with theirs and then we'll try to go off from what they did. I think they did random patterns, but I just want to double check. Ooh, these two browns look very similar next to each other. That's okay though. All right, browns are done. Right, let's take a look at that picture again. Mm, let me just unlock my phone here. Okay, they did a mixture of stars, uh, clouds, uh, zigzags, and polka dots. Um, why don't I couple, copy a couple of those? I do like the zigzags that this one uh, person did on the back of this head. So I like that. I'll do these same things on this side. Just like this. And for the tail, I'll just do random uh, angled stripes here, and then it'll give off the same cool effect. Cool, all right, that pattern's done. Let me do polka dots. I'll do polka dots over here. Um, I will not copy the colors that they did for the polka dots though, it makes it look kind of like a pepperoni and cheese. So I don't want mine to look like that. My polka dots are done. What else can I do? Alright, they did camouflage or clouds. Um, why don't I do, let's see, because I did do a plain one? That would be boring though. Why don't I do hearts? Hearts would look pretty interesting, even though that's not real. But neither is polka dots, so I guess we're even there. And I think I'm done with the hearts. Great. Right, one more to go. Let's see what I can do. I think for this one I'll just do clouds. And it's looking really good. All right, now all there's left to do is color. All right, here we go. Um, let's see, let's do classic colors here. Why don't we do a little bit of orange? I'll put the orange one for the heart uh, cat. Looking pretty neat. I'll call the hearts later. Okay, looking really good. All right, next up, let's see what color we could do with the inside of that cat. We should do pink. Pink since it's hearts. Hearts, hearts, hearts. There you go. Cute. Glad we chose those. 
Here we go. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Or I can jump around. How do I jump all the way to the right hand side? Let's make this one mint green. I like mint green color. Looks neat. All right, so I'm just fully color this one in. Let me color this side in. And this side over here, and this one right here. There we go. Right, let me just uh, do the inside now. I think I want to do just a bright blue here for my zigzags. And this is a great choice because I think it looks they look really good together. This blue and the mint green. I think this color combination looks fantastic. All right, so let's do the tail, and then we can move on to the next one. All right, so the next one looks like clouds here. So why don't we keep that same theme here? Let's make it look like sky. A cat that looks like it belongs in the sky. How is that? I guess I could have done sunset in, in this body, but that's okay. That would have taken me a little longer. Alright, I think I might keep the clouds white, because <laughs> why not? Alright, for this last cat, I don't really have a lot of red in my picture. Um, so why don't I add red and maybe purple? Don't know if that's going to look good or not, but we'll see. Right, so the majority of the cat will be red. We'll go from there. I think purple is going to be the only other color that I really don't have in this picture that's from the rainbow. Because I do have red, which I'm doing right now. I did yellow in the background, which is the moon and the stars. I did orange over there on the other cat. I did green, which just counts for the mint green over there. And then I did blue, so all I'm missing from the rainbow is the violet. So I'll just do violet for the polka dots here. Alright, even though the, the white polka dots are kind of cool. All right, let's try this one. I think this is a good purple. And it is. Awesome choice, Mr. Mill. Looking good. All right, I'm almost done with my photo here. Or, sorry, my picture, my artwork. And I think I'm gonna call this done. <laughs> it looks really good. All right, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys uh, try it out. Maybe add maybe another kitten or a baby kitten or something like that. <laughs> Make it look different, uh, unless you want to copy exactly the way it is. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.